Recently I had an interesting riddle to solve. I had to parse a JSON response that contains a multiple different types of objects. My initial idea was to go with a primitive solution, which was to add additional optionals, but there is a much better way that uses a Swift enum types with associated values. My name is Mike and let's get started. In one of my previous videos about the failable decodable, I have presented a sample JSON structure that was representing a different elements in the app. So it have like the ID, name, and a type. But and we have like the list element. What if this would have like additional types? So we have this structure, but the server will basically like return additional elements, like the photo and the tags for the type articles, date and additional intro for the news, and views and category for type videos. So in order to actually parse this, we could, let's say, like add additional elements, like additional variables, like date, intro, views and category to this list element. But in order to actually do this, in order to parse the, those elements, those would have to be optionals. And this is basically not, not the greatest uh, idea. It would work. So each time you are checking the type, you would have to also check, for example, the videos, if the views and category uh, are present, because those are optionals and you would have to like unwrap this. So it's not the best solution. The better solution is to use the enum with the associated values. If you are not familiar with the associated values uh, for the enums, you can check the documentation at the Swift org. It's basically like really simple. You need to de declare enum and each case can have like additional type. It can be primitive types like integers, string, but it also can be like the structure that you will declare. Okay, so let's get rid of those and let's change this one, the element type. Let's call it the element. And this one no longer needs to conform to the string because it will be like the type of its own. And because of that, it's complaining that it is not conforming to the decodable. Let's just add the initializer, which we will fix later. So each of those elements, like the articles, news, and videos, will have the associated values, like the simple structs that we will create. So let's create those structs. The articles, it will have photo and tag. So this is basically like the equivalent of those elements. Let's add the news and the videos. Each of those structs needs to conform to the decodable. And the Swift, because of that, because it conforms to the decodable, it knows how to parse this because there's like no additional different uh, names of the of the key. So because of that, you could basically like initialize the articles just by using the from decoder and just pass this in the coder, which will not do right now, but just for you to know. Let's add those struct types as associated values. And now let's try to parse this. So in order to parse this, we need to create a container. And this container will be keyed by the coding keys. Those coding keys is just an additional enum, which is conforming to string and the coding key. A coding key is just a type that can be used for encoding and decoding. If you don't remember how encodable and decodable works, you can as always check the documentation at developer.com. It's really simple. You can read more about it here. This container will be keyed by our coding keys. So we'll get a container that is having a type. And by having this type, we can extract this type to our variable type by using the element type for key type. The element type is just an enum that we had previously. So it needs to conform to the string and the codable. And we have like all of those keys that we have previously. So it's like the equivalent of all of those types that we had previously. So this is like the string of the videos and those need to match. 
Right now we can create a switch statement that will use our type. Let's create our enum element. And we need to pass associated value. We can simply do this by creating articles from the coder that will create a new instance by decoding a given decoder. It can throw, so don't forget to add try. And let's add other cases. We are almost there. We can create our element from a decoder by creating a container, which is a container key by a coding keys. Then we need to get a type, which we can get from our container by decoding our element type enum, which is having the strings of all of those cases that we have in JSON. By having a type, we can just switch between those cases and create our element. And this is basically like equivalent of the init, so we can remove it. But this will not parse this element yet. We need to tell Swift how to exactly deal with the struct. So we need to also add the init with the coding keys to the list element. So let's do this. Our coding keys will be just ID, name, and a type. As previously, we need to create a container and we need to key it with our coding keys. Then we need to initialize each of our properties. So ID can be decoded as type integer for a key ID. The same for the name, it is string for key name. And for our type, we can simply just initialize this from the color. So as you can remember, this is equivalent of this. So the element is being initialized from a decoder. Okay, let's try to run it. As you can see, all of our elements are parsed. I hope that it was helpful for you and it can simplify your data structure and parsing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and see you in the next one.